Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101. So today I want to show you how to make a city generator in geometry nodes. I uh, can see I wanted to go for a city that had more character than the cities we have generated before. You can see I've also added in some curved roads and uh, a grid uh, pattern. I wanted to create a city in a style of uh, New York. So a grid and then some uh, major roads uh, that uh, break up the grid uh, like we have here. And I can add more uh, more curves if I want to. So if I just added, so if I increase the curve and I think I've just overdone it, I can just do, let's do 1.2. Yeah, you can see we can add a lot of character to the city. There are a lot of parameters you can adjust to make the city look even better. And you can even change, switch out the materials to get a different look. So I have two sets of materials here and, uh, you can see just switching from one to, uh, to the other just changes. It's not changing the geometry, but it's making things look uh, quite different. I have this empty that controls uh, the, the grid layout. So if I rotated it, you can see the city regenerates and the roads and the grid also adjusts as well. And if you want the, the city to be large, uh, to have large building blocks, you can also do that by just scaling up uh, that empty. If you want the city to be really small, you can also uh, scale it down and um, make a really, really dense city like that. This is monumental. Look at this building. Uh, it's uh, quite uh, big, uh, but uh, I can get rid of that. I can reduce that by just increasing the curved, the number of curved roads I have here to break up the, the grid a bit and maybe even Let's do three and uh, you can see it, it creates some interesting uh, buildings. I didn't want to import in, to use any imported buildings. So I had to make all the models. I really li love this, uh, this building here. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I, this is why I wanted to add curved roads. They create uh, some amazing buildings if you add them. So this is going to be a breakdown of this project, but uh, you can get the project file on my Gumroad page, my Patreon and my YouTube membership and all links are going to be in the description. So this is going to be just a project overview of how I set up everything. But I'm also going to create a comprehensive uh, tutorial series, breaking down the entire process step by step. So let's look at how I set this up. I table here, you can even change the seed. Uh, this is just going to change the height of the building and the style of the buildings, but it won't change the grid or the curved roads. So let's see how I set this up. Let me go to the layout here. We start with a curve here that I should show you that if you edit this curve, the city adjusts as well. So I can go to edit mode and uh, just, yeah, so you can see if I edit this curve, the city also changes ad accordingly. You start with uh, the curve like this and fill it in because we want to instance points that we want our roads, our curved roads to be instanced onto. So here I distribute a, f I distribute a few points on the curve and uh, instance roads onto that. So the roads are just uh, a line, yeah, a simple line like that, uh, that I resample, uh, set, change the spline tab to, na to nabs so that I can add some noise uh, to make it a bit curved, uh, just like that. And uh, most of all these other nodes are just to set up some uh, attributes for UVs later to use uh, to, un to unwrap the road. Uh, for example, this, uh, let me see, can I even, yeah, you can see this are just capturing the length of the curve uh, to create uh, UVs uh, that I later use in the, to, to map the roads. So from there, uh, you instance this curve, it's just a single curve like that, and you instance it on onto the points we generated here to have something like that. Let me just get rid of this preview. Yes, so you instance this. I'm also capturing the instances. I turn them back to curves and then turn them to meshes and then join them to the grid because I'm trying to create the layout of the city. And so, but I also want to retain the original roads because I want to use that as the roads. Uh, so for the grid, that was simple. I just used uh, a line, created some instances, to run on the y-axis and I uh, use that again. I just rotated that to create another row of lines going running in the y-axis 
and turn that into meshes uh, by just using a line as a profile for these curves to create a grid. This is also going to, also going to work as uh, my roads later. I also wanted to be able to transform this grid using this uh, empty. So that's why you see that, uh, yeah, that's why you see this object, this empty is brought in as, a, as the grid object and using a scale rotation and translation to move this grid around in case I want to do that. So I joined the roads curve and uh, these together at form the grid, but you can see there's a lot of intersection and what is not yet enough to, uh, to get the grid I want. Because these are curves, I can fill them with curves to get a grid like that, but uh, it has a lot of issues. Some areas are intersecting, so this this area should be empty. I don't want these islands here that are, yeah, because those are also supposed to be empty areas. So I split these into, into meshes and I can show you here just each island is now separate from the other so that I can easily delete the ones that I don't want. So to delete these faces that I don't want, uh, I know they are, they are smaller than the areas I want to keep. So I delete by, er by face area to get rid of those. And uh, then I also wanted to delete any extra pieces uh, that we have from the grid and the curves or, and the roads. So those I just delete by proximity to this original face. And uh, that gets, gets me the grid, that gets me the grid I want. And uh, this is all procedural. So I can, when I change uh, the road, you can see how I add more and how I, how I can add or reduce the, the roads. And uh, if I rotate this, you can see the grid rotating as well. So that's how I do that. And yeah, I turn this back to a mesh, I fill it in to fill this and I start working on the buildings. Yeah, so I actually extrude, uh, I think extrude the pavement around here and then start working on the shops since they are the first uh, floor, since they are on the first floor of our grid. I insert the islands to create faces for our buildings, to create the foundation of our buildings and also leave some room for uh, the street or pavement and uh, then extrude the first floor of our buildings which is going to be uh, the stores the storefronts and I also make sure to save an attribute for that in case I want to select them in the shader editor and from there I extrude one more time and uh, scale out to separate the next level of building the next section of the building to get the actual height of the building. I also randomize the offset of the buildings a bit to get something like that. And uh, from there, I just separate the, the, the roofs, the different roofs from the, uh, from the rest of the building because I wanted the roofs to have different styles. So from there you can see, and, and I want to have random styles for different buildings. So I further isolate this set and this set and each one is going to be a different type of roof. So I extrude, so I extrude and insert, extrude uh, to create an, an extra level of detail to the building. And uh, again, I think I start adding detail and uh, detail. I think I start to even start, I even start adding materials at this stage. Yeah, you can see the different roofs. So some of the buildings are extended a bit than others, but uh, you can see here I have this pyramid-like roof and this flat base uh, roof. I'll be showing you how to do this step by step. Yeah, so those are the th three different styles. One extends as a building and uh, the other is a, a pyramid and the one that just pushes in simply like that. And uh, I, join it, I join it back to this original building set. And uh, at this stage, I also apply as some materials and now you can see we have a city block but without any roads just yet so let's go back a bit to the grid and uh, look at the roads here i think yeah so this is where we left off we have created the roads and we i start to delete some of the pieces to make sure that the roads are all end at the boundaries of our city and that's just using a proximity and geometry proximity and checking how close uh, these 
these curves are to the boundaries. Um, again, I'll explain this in detail uh, in the tutorial series that will be on my Patreon and my Gumroad page and my YouTube membership page. So here I continue adding in the materials and uh, since I already UV unwrapped those uh, right here, I think I have here, I have these UV unwrapped and I think I should also have UVs for the grid. Yeah, so those are also UV unwrapped there. So I joined that, I think, at, yeah, I joined everything at this level here. Uh, what is this? Let me see, I'm forgetting. Uh, this is just the base and the surrounding road uh, that surrounds the boundary of the city. You can see it's fairly simple, especially if you know some geometry nodes, but uh, if you need extra explanation, I'm going to be doing that in the tutorial series. Uh, that I'll, I'll be uploading at least within within a few days. But uh, if you want to get the project files, like I said, it will be on my Gumroad page, Patreon and YouTube membership page. So uh, that's how you get the city. I know it's oversimplified, uh, but uh, it is explaining this step by step would just make this too long. Uh, I think you, you, you can get the idea of how I did this. So basically you just turn a curve object into a plane, distribute a few points that you use to instance some roads and, and those roads are just a line, are just a curve line that has, that has some noise displacement to it and uh, that is given some thickness and uh, then instanced onto the curve like that. Uh, it's, it's going outside the boundaries of the curve, so you need to find a way to delete the parts out, outside the, the city boundaries, and that's the same for the grid you have. Uh, so yeah, you extrude some shops, you extrude the buildings, uh, separate the roofs, the, the roofs, and uh, if you want different types of roofs, you can also separate them so that you can work on different styles, so like this pyramid style, and uh, then this caved in, uh, or this uh, flat style, join that back to the building, so you have something like that. I added some extra details to the roof, like antennas. When you isolate, think at this stage, you isolate the roofs, the areas that you want these small buildings, roof buildings to be on, turn them into points just like that and uh, now I can instance different part things onto those points. You can see the concept is fairly simple and uh, that's how you do that. There's a ton of parameters you can change about this, uh, like the height of the building. I've added these labels uh, to, to so that you know what you're doing. So you can see this is a really, really short city. Now you can make really tall buildings. I liked uh, the 10. Yeah, th there's a lot of parameters you can expose. Again, project files are going to be on my Patreon page, Gumroad, and my YouTube membership. If you want to see more of this on the, of the channel, you can let me know in the comment sections. And uh, yeah, let me know what else, what other type of generator you might want to see uh, that I can do for you guys, uh, that you might need for your projects. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video.